Hello happy people Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this video I want to show you how to create free registration forms just like this for your WordPress or Elementor website. Now to get started first we are going to go into our WordPress dashboard and we are going to come here to plugins and we are going to install a free plugin called HT Mega plugin or HT Mega add-ons for Elementor so by simply searching here ht mega it shows up here at the moment it is activated on my website so on your side you simply have to install and activate and once it's activated it will show up right here in the dashboard menu when you click over here it will show all the activated widgets that you can use in your elementor website now ht mega add-ons for elementor has massive collection of elementor widgets that you can use for free you know all these are for free that you can use now in this case we are only going to use the registration widget which is this one here by switching this side it means it's off and by switching this side it means that it's on and you can use it in your elementor website now you can disable all these widgets in case you're not going to use any of them now we are simply going to hit save once it is saved then we can open up a page in our elementor website so I have all these pages and I've already created a page called register. Now in this case I'm going to create another one for the purposes of this tutorial and I'm going to name this users okay and then I'm going to simply hit publish publish and once that page is published I'm going to open it with Elementor. Once it's open with Elementor now I'm going to simply come over here to my widgets area and I search for HT register search for register or regist user registration form and right up here it should show a logo for ht mega so i simply drag it over here and boom now i have my demo registration form right here the beauty is that ht mega add-ons for elementor brings you a couple of presets that you can get started with to create your registration form there is style 2 there is style 3 there is style 4 and there is style 5 but in this case we are going to use style 3 so in case I leave it at style 4 and here I want to collect my users website and info and of course by default we'll collect their username and password and then uh, we can show a label and then on the style section we can set up a couple of things including the button so when i come over here to the button i can simply add maybe a background for our button make it something like this okay and um we can even make settings or changes to the hover when someone hover over, hovers over our button we can also maybe give it a small gradient on hover see how that changes now now the same you can do for all the other inputs like the text area the text area is this way if someone types and here we can change the text color we can change the placeholder color in case we are going to display placeholders and the font face that we want to appear here in our text area but in this case I'm not going to make any changes everything for me looks fine and the same you can make changes here on the input on the other hand uh, you may also make changes to your background for example you can say you want to add a background color for your widget let me let me try to add a gradient it can be anything from there but in case I don't want to add a gradient, I can simply leave it just like that. But also, we can again go back to our form. We can even switch the type of content again. See that? We can change our column style. So I'm going to give it a gradient. And boom. Here we go with our registration form. Now we are going to switch this up and we are going to 
minimize the content width so I'll give it like 650 I can add some margin to the widget or padding so I can come over here then I'll add some padding at the top I'll give it like 30 and bottom looks fine and of course these forms are 100% responsive or you can even set them individually based on the device that you want to show them and you can make changes right there i can even add some top margin so that doesn't look to be near to the heading something like that and now i can simply hit update once i hit update i'm going to come over here to my pages all pages and then i'm going to get my page url i'm going to view this now when i view this you realize that it tells me i am already logged in as an admin and since i'm logged into my wordpress website i cannot register again so what i'm going to do i'm going to use another browser and i'll come over here open a new window and then i load that page for our users and boom our registration form shows up right here now when we register let me say my username is demo and my password is demo okay my password one two three four five and my email is let me say go take ug at gmail.com and then i say register now when i register automatically it will give me a notification that my registration is complete now when i come over here to my wordpress dashboard i come over to the users area i load the page automatically here it will show a user called demo with this email address now at the same time i can come here to edit and i view the details that this user added for example they are a user their nickname is that their email is that and since now i have my users right here it shows that wow this registration form works just nice here they can update their user details and all that stuff they can even make changes to their password in case they don't remember that password so anyway congratulations that's how you can create free registration forms in your elementor website in case you have any questions or comments please let me know down in the comment box below and in case you like this tutorial please hit the like button and in case you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when i push it out thank you so much for watching and have a good time